President Mohamed Buhari has pledged a fair deal for the Shekere people of Delta State. Buhari gave the assurance when he received the Olu of Wari Kingdom, His Royal Majesty Shola Emiko Ogiame Atuwase III. The traditional ruler and his chiefs were at the State House in Abuja on Wednesday. Buhari thanked the monarch for the visit and declared admiration for his patriotism. The Olu of Wari commended the president for sending a high-powered delegation to his coronation. He further pledged the loyalty of Ishekere people uh, to one united Nigeria. Incidentally, these issues are the focus of your administration, security and the economy. The first point, the underutilization of the Delta ports. There are four ports in Delta State, Wari, Koko, Sapele, and Burutu. However, these ports are underutilized and can make substantial contribution to the Nigerian economy and improve the security in our region by creating jobs for the teeming population of unemployed youths, thereby reducing insecurity in the Niger Delta. We believe that this is a win-win for Nigeria and also a win for the Niger Delta. The reconstitution of the NDDC board. After the forensic audit of the commission, we believe that Your Excellency will soon reconstitute the NDDC board. As an interested party, we only have prayers for Your Excellency's ears. We genuinely want a better deal for us in the Niger Delta, as we believe charity begins at home. By this, we mean that we Niger Deltans must be ready to put the betterment of our people first in all that we do. Putting our people first is the only way to make our lives better. Thank you. Some members of the National Assembly have disclosed that they had not stopped on the process of amending the country's 1999 constitution. They are assuring Nigerians that the amended document will be ready before the end of the 9th National Assembly. They said they have adequately secured the amendment of the constitution to a logical conclusion. A member of the House of Representatives from IFO, Ewekoro Federal Constituency of Ogun State, Isiaka Ibrahim, said Nigerians would see the progress made so far by the lawmakers concerning the amendment of the constitution as from January 27th. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.